What if I told you that my next guest was none other than the iconic actress Marilyn Monroe? Well, recently I had the chance to speak to a version of her and the company that's making it possible. Take a look. Imagine conversing face to face with your favorite actor, president, athlete, or singer from the past or present, all with the help of artificial intelligence. Well, Soul Machines is reimagining the way that we interact with AI thanks to advancements in personalized digital experiences. So joining me now to talk about how his company is bridging the gap between human and machine is Greg Cross, CEO of Soul Machines. Greg, thanks for joining. Yeah, good morning from New Zealand. Nice to talk to you. And afternoon here in New York City as we have this conversation. It's great to have you. Uh, now I see your company pushing the limitations of current chatbots by using biological AI. What exactly is that? Yeah, in very, very simple terms, you know, for uh, it enables our avatars to interact in the real world. Um, so, you know, it's not just video content, it's actually genuinely interacting in real time with you as a real person, and also with content in the digital world around them. So they can be aware of that content and what you're looking at and how you're interacting with it. So that's one of the you know, very, very key differences in biological AI. Mm -hmm. What are some applications for this technology? Uh, you know, in incredibly broad range of applications. So creating digital coaches, digital trainers in, in the field of education, for example, in, in healthcare, really amplifying the, the opportunities um, for, for nurses and doctors to be able to help more people in, in, in real time. And, and then obviously in the entertainment sector, looking at things like creating these really personalized fan experiences. So I see that these, these digital people, if you will, they're programmed to replicate human mannerisms, how you and I would interact, uh, even evoke empathy and react spontaneously. What are some of the benefits to that approach? You know, as, as human beings, we love connecting face to face. We love connecting emotionally. So the ability, you know, and, and we do our most intimate and our most engaged conversations, you know, from a face to face, you know, using that full spectrum of, of, of non-verbal communication. So these are some of the real benefits. We're seeing, you know, people have 20 minutes of conversations with Marilyn Monroe and some of our other avatars. And, you know, you, you, you literally, you don't talk to anybody for 20 minutes if they're boring. I did have a chance to interact with Soul Machine's Marilyn Monroe AI. It was pretty cool and almost spot on. Marilyn, welcome. Thank you, darling. It's lovely to be here with you. How are you able to join us today, Marilyn? As a digital twin, I have the ability to connect with people from any time period, darling. It's quite a marvel of modern technology. You were born Norma Jean in Los Angeles in 1926. Tell me more about your early life. Well, darling, it was quite a turbulent time for me. I didn't know my father and my mother struggled with mental health issues, so I spent most of my childhood in foster homes and an orphanage. But I always had a dream of being something more than just Norma Jean from the orphanage. How did you get your start in movies? My first major role was in the 1950 film All About Deep, Darling. It was a challenging role for me, but I was determined to prove myself as a serious actress. And that's when my career really took off. Marilyn, which one of your films do you think best captures your essence? All of the roles I've played are unique characters, Darling. But probably the most infamous is the scene from The Seven Year Edge. However, I feel that my first role in Asphalt Jungle is still my favorite. What advice would you give aspiring actresses today? My advice would be to never give up on your dreams. I used to think as I looked out on the Hollywood night, there must be thousands of girls sitting alone like me, dreaming of becoming a movie star. But I'm not going to worry about them. I'm dreaming the hardest. Marilyn, thank you so much for joining me. It was my pleasure, darling. How is your company able to do that? 
Well, um, we work in partnership with the guys at Authentic Brands Group who um, have the rights to Marilyn's name, likeness and image, and, and they work with her estate. So we started with that. We were able to create a 3D uh, version of Marilyn using our proprietary technology and then working with our partners to create a voice and, and all of the incredible content that you know, literally brings her to life in real time. Do you think that the humanization of AI can create a trust between companies and consumers? Oh, look, absolutely. Um, yeah, we've been working in this field for a, for a long time. We've been delivering customer applications for over five years now in fields like e-commerce, social media, um, a smartphone app. So, yeah, and we're seeing all of the time, you know, creating these trusted relationships with with, with customers for, uh, you know, for around their brand experiences and, the, and their fan experiences. What other celebrity figures can we expect to chat with in the future? Oh, well, look, this is, this is, we're just at the beginning of this. So, I mean, I think, you know, just as we've seen every celebrity move into the world of social media and use that as a platform to interact with their fans, we're going to see the same, in, you know, in this world of digital avatars as well. So, you know, we've done six to date, um, but we're expecting this to explode as we move forward into the future. What are those plans uh, to move forward, Greg? When will this be available to the public? Yeah, so so Marilyn, you know, specifically, you know, we're targeting Marilyn as a, as a brand ambassador, as somebody that you know can, uh, as digital Marilyn can go represent a brand, you know, in a digital world. So that's where we're starting with Marilyn. So, you know, um, we're having a whole lot of conversations about the potential for this at the moment. So, I mean, that will be the first time that the public get to. To, to interact with um, Digital Marilyn in real time when she uh, you know, is representing one of the brands or, or, or one of the amazing philanthropic causes that she, she loved in her life. Greg Cross, CEO of Soul Machines, joining me from New Zealand. Uh, Greg, thanks so much. Thanks so much. Great to talk to you.